a party and claim some more pens. Hey, hey, good morning. It's a little bit of a bittersweet day. Um, a special tractor is leaving, so stay tuned for that. Kiddo, you by yourself still? Yep, not for long. Time to party and clean some more pens. I'm hauling another load of goat fun stuff out of the barn. And dad's gonna go grind corn. He's waving at you, there you go. We did it. This is one left. Clean. 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 Just clean. Just clean. 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 Hey, and ready to party. We just gotta do some more sweeping and such up here. And cleaning this. Two weeks. Not you, but two weeks, kid. So because the only ones being fed cracked corn right now are these guys, the actual fats, we don't have to crack as much corn on a regular basis and eventually it'll be none for a couple months because these feeder calves, everybody else, is on earlage rations. So they're getting the ground up earlage that we chopped earlier instead of cracked dry corn. So there's that. Hence why there's not the semi and he hasn't had to grind corn in a while. So. Dad likes when he doesn't have to grind corn all the time. <laughs> So Earledge still has corn. It just also has the corn husk and corn cob, etc. within it. So there's obviously there's silage in here too, but Earledge is somewhat similar to silage. It's just less of the plant, a little bit higher ratios of starch versus your forages and dry matter fibery stuff. They like it a lot. So as you can see, our uh, mixer over there is old. So she, uh, she runs nice. We use it for creep feed and cracking corn. But in the winter, nobody wants to be out when it's negative 50, standing there for 30 minutes, an hour, hour and a half, grinding corn when we could just chop some earlidge, feed earlidge. Because when these guys are only on step two ration, it's still a relatively low rate of corn being included. So we just swap it for earlidge. We'll get these fellas out of here hopefully soon and then not have to really crack anything hopefully. So that'll be nice, but it's just saving some wear and tear on the grinder, getting it out of hopefully breaking down in the winter and then being kind of SOL on the whole situation. And in the cold, like it's just a lot easier to see earlidge off a pile than it is to grind corn, unload bins, all of that stuff. So. We're kind of coming back on the corn, but it's because we don't have as many fats left right now. We're in the like, in-between phase. And corn has to be cracked. It doesn't have to be. You can feed whole corn to cattle. However, you get much better feed efficiency and like usage of the corn when it's cracked. It just makes it more digestible for them. It just helps them not just poop out whole corn, actually <laughs> intake it, use it in their bodies, grow, etc., turning into 
muscle and fat and all of that stuff. I look like a tomato is because I just went for a run because it's super nice out. So even though it's really nice out, we still park stuff in at night now that it's chilly at night. So dad's putting the feeder wagon in. We just put the skid loader in and then we'll put the loader tractor in because cold hydraulics, not so much fun. And there's plenty of room in there yet, which is good. All right, Dad, we got rid of a tractor today. Tell him about the tractor. Well, I guess it was 1978 white. It's probably the first tractor I remember my dad buying brand new when I was a kid. Dang, it's kind of sad. So, it's, wanted to keep it, wanted to repair it, but in reality, it's like... What am I going to do with it? Yeah. How long has it been since it ran? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, five, five, six years ago. Grinding feed and all of a sudden it started running like garbage and hmm. putting out smoke rings and Ooh. just enough power to put it away in a shed for a few years. And for the longest time it sat back where the silage pile is and we actually had to like shove it out of the way one time and then it sat up by the house. You've seen it in some videos in the background by that other truck. So dad decided to keep the truck more than the tractor. Well, I just don't. It doesn't need to sit around and just, it just sit. It's, it's just going to rust away and I yeah. can't be a pack rat forever. He likes to keep stuff. And the guy that got it, I actually knew from like feed sales back in the day. He has like parts sitting waiting for it. And he's talked about it for like six years. So it just finally left this morning. But sad day, kind of, sort of. Yeah, it's just one of those, you kind of wish you could get more for it, but with no working motor, <laughs> that's a valuable white track. It's got good tires. Uh, they're okay. Well, the doors, back window, had that. Yeah. But, okay, what else did you do today? Anything fun? I'll put a new carburetor and a generator and save myself probably a couple hundred bucks by taking it into a Honda re repair shop. Well. That sounds fun. So, I did not do that. So there, if your generator doesn't work because of uh, probably leaving your gas in the carburetor, just go on Amazon and you grab a car carburetor for 35 bucks and it runs like a brand new. <laughs> Amazon and dad are a dangerous duo, but I'll go see if the calves need bedding. I don't know if they do. We'll go look. I do have to clean the bale processor out. So that'll probably be in the next video. It's a super fun time. Oh, you also ground corn today. That's in this video. But all I do is work. <laughs> I'm a hermit. That's all I do is work. <laughs> it just stays home. While well, my beard gets longer and longer. Yeah, you used to cut his hair. You got your hair cut though. Did mom cut it? I had to make. I had to actually go out in public. So. Oh, you went and got your hair cut? No. Oh. Mom, mom did it before you had to go somewhere. Mom, you don't God. have any hair on top, ways. Yeah, it just gets money. this like rear mullet thing going on. It's great. You mean a blind man cut my hair? <laughs> Hi kids. This is the time of night you can't see anything. Oh, mom found a treasure. <laughs> Must spend in the feed. So we're just like in this season where I feel like there's just not as much going on. And I just keep telling myself that we're getting closer to calving season and that's when I like have so many things to show you. But right now it's kind of just like random tasks that get done and morning chores so bear with me things will get much more exciting i feel like soon but also we do have goats kidding due in like two weeks so we could have baby goats in a week in 10 days they could wait until 14 days sometimes they do that we'll see but kidding season is kind of like the warm-up for calving season i feel like it's just less intense because there's like 12 nannies or whatever it is to have babies so i ended up with probably like 15 to 20 babies um, depending if they're like singles, twins, triplets, etc., maybe quads. I don't know. That's exciting. We always have some bottle kids, which is just cuteness in general. But I just feel just in one of those like seasons. I don't know. I've realized that like my mental health too is just kind of in like a funk right now, especially with like our house being here and the house not being done. And I'm gonna give you an update now. Like we're not moved in. We're still waiting on plumbing and heating. <clears throat> Half of my stuff has moved in. Half of it is not. <laughs> um, the HVAC got a good start. We do have an electric furnace that our plumber lent to us to let us at least have like a house that stays 50 degrees upstairs. We're not having issues there. So we're literally just waiting on HVAC and the plumbing. 
HVAC has a good start. He's got the, the LP tank got moved. The start of the ductwork is in. There's just the rest of it needs to be, you know, from the center of the house and the trusses to each individual vent. And then he's got to do the sewer and the water, which it's all coming from upstairs in the house through the floor trusses. And I'll show you in another video. Um, it just has to actually be like hooked up and connected. So, and normally our plumber is himself and another guy. Well, the other guy took another job, so it's him by himself. <laughs> So, it's just a little bit slower process, but he said a couple more weeks, hopefully the first of the year, I don't know, the anticipation is it's kicking my butt. We just want like our own space. There's not an issue with living with my parents, that's where we're at right now. You just don't have as much space, and now that the house is sitting here, I'm like, I'm paying for it. <laughs> it's still on construction loan stuff, I just I'm like, I just wanna move in. But, I'm gonna go feed the cat gang. <laughs> Get out of the way. Dum dums. What are you doing? So these are Nathan and I's own personal cats. And by Nathan, I mean Andrea's cats with like one that Nathan likes. Um, so Todd is that fella. Todd has a GPS tracker on. He's a cool guy. Come here. He's like, I don't wanna. It's Todd. Todd's missing his tail. Todd's my favorite. Todd was an inside cat for a little while. Fluffy's actually from the farm. He decided to come here instead and then produced fluffy kittens <laughs> and stayed here. But yeah, it's a good time. A lot of them don't have names, but we lost a couple soldiers during the construction process. So RIP to them. To be honest, I am pretty impressed that this many cats have survived all of the uh, construction traffic and everything else because kittens sometimes are not the brightest so this is todd's little gps tracker it's attractive i'll put a little um the details in the description of this video if you want to check it out but i wanted to track him when charging he left keep tabs on him because when we kicked him outside he would kind of disappear and i am like very emotionally attached to this cat I'm an animal person, it's a problem. Um, <coughs> certain cats. Anyways, I love him to death. So I wanted to make sure he would be alive and well. He is alive and well. I track him. He goes all over the section, has a good time. He's a very active cat, but it's been fun. I just have to charge every once in a while. It doesn't take very long to charge. So that's Todd. Todd is a tracker. However, look at this. The skip letter's in here, so there's less stuff in here. We just still have some of the big stuff in the garage to put in the house, but I've been taking and moving stuff in slowly. So it's not such a pain in the butt later on and organizing and everything. Yeah. Oh, look who's here. Nathan, gonna go park on his concrete. Yeah, look at him go. There he goes. That's a lot of garage space. It's in four feet deeper. Why? Because then it would've been four feet bigger. This is plenty of garage space. But anyways, thanks for hanging with me. More behind the scenes. Find my other social media platforms as that for advocate. Instagram's kind of my home place. But till next time, we'll see you then.